don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The magic school bus. And the missing tooth. Miss Frizzle's class is fun. She wears funny dresses. She wears funny shoes. We go on funny trips. We go on the magic school bus. You've never seen such a funny bus. Today we have show and tell. It's Wanda's turn. She holds up something small and sharp. Miss Frizzle says it's a tooth. I found it on the floor. I wouldn't want that in my mouth. What do teeth do? By Wanda. Teeth do many things. Teeth help people and animals chew food, which helps with digestion. Teeth also help people speak clearly. We all look closely at the tooth. We look in our mouths. That tooth doesn't belong to us. Who lost this tooth? Not me. Not me. We get on the magic school bus. Liz jumps in and sits next to Miss Frizzle. We are all ready to go. Then Carlos remembers something. My little sister just lost a tooth. Maybe it is hers. Two sets of teeth by Carlos. People have two sets of teeth. Baby teeth, adult teeth. Kids start to lose their baby teeth when they are about six or seven years old. When a baby tooth falls out, an adult tooth grows in its place. Bus, do your stuff. The bus gets very small. It gets wings. It zooms up in the air and we fly right back into the school. Who lost this tooth? Let's ask the tooth fairy. We are in a classroom. We wonder why we are here. Then we see why. We're flying toward Maria, Carlos' sister. Carlos, we're in your sister's class. Carlos, we're going in your sister's mouth. Can't we just ask if it's her tooth? It is dark inside the mouth. Miss Frizzle turns on the lights. Now we can see all the teeth. We can see them very well. There are lots of teeth. Look, one is missing. I wish I were missing. Two of a kind by D.A. Teeth come in pairs. There are two of every kind. One on the right and one on the left. Miss Frizzle says, We see only part of a tooth. Another part is under the gums. It is called the root. The root holds a tooth in place. It is attached to the jawbone. The part we see is called the crown. It is covered with enamel. Enamel is the hardest thing in our bodies. I'd like a crown covered with diamonds instead. We look at the shape of the teeth. Some are flat and some are sharp. We look at our missing tooth. It doesn't match. It is too pointy. This tooth doesn't belong in my sister's mouth. Let's go before she swallows us. Miss Frizzle turns the steering wheel. We jet out of the mouth. Then we fly out of the room. Phew! Bye, sis! We think our field trip is over, but we are wrong. Miss Frizzle says we are going to a farm. Class, we need to find more teeth. There are lots of animals on the farm. We see horses, cows, and sheep. They are in a field. All those animals eat grass. Watch out, Miss Frizzle, or one will eat us. Miss Frizzle must not have heard us. She is flying the bus right at a horse. Just then, the horse opens its mouth. Miss Frizzle yells, Yee-haw! The 
those sharp front teeth are for biting. I was afraid of that. Now we are in the horse's mouth. The sharp front teeth cut off big bites of grass. The back teeth chew up the grass. In between, there is a space with no teeth at all. These big flat teeth are good for chewing and grinding grass. Don't let them chew us. The horse's teeth are not pointy. They are not like our missing tooth. Miss Frizzle says, let's find more teeth. The missing tooth isn't from a horse. Who lost this tooth? It's a mystery. The bus flies into a big red barn. We see a mouse in the corner. It is chewing. Why did the mouse chew a hole in the wall? To get to the other side. A mouse's teeth, strong and sharp, by Tim. Mice have very strong front teeth. They use them to chew through wood, pipes, walls, and many other things. A mouse's front teeth keep growing. Mice have to chew on things all the time. This keeps their teeth short and sharp. The pointy teeth help a cat catch dinner. Meow! Next we see a lazy barn cat. It is yawning so we can see its teeth. The front ones are very sharp. Different teeth, different jobs by Phoebe. Teeth have different shapes. Each shape does a different job. Animals that catch other animals for food have sharp teeth. Animals that eat plants have flat teeth for grinding. People have different kinds of teeth. The cat's teeth look more like the missing tooth. But our tooth is smaller than the cat's teeth. Miss Frizzle says it is time to go back to school. We wonder why. Let's look at the tooth again. It is very sharp. It must belong to an animal that eats other animals. How did the tooth end up in our classroom? Wanda asks. We all look at one another. Who lost the tooth? Just then, our class lizard gives us a smile. Liz! Do lizards lose teeth too? Yes, all the time. They can grow 200 new teeth in a year. Now the bus is a bus again, and we know the missing tooth is a lizard's tooth. DA tells us that lizards, like Liz, eat insects, spiders, and other small animals. Now we are back at school. We found the owner of the missing tooth. Who knows what we'll find out next time? Look at this frizzle's dress! It blows me away! Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon page. And check out some of my other Magic School Bus videos. And some of my other shopping, thrifting, and Funko Pop videos. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>